Designing a business card. Business cards are cards bearing business information about a company or individual. They are shared during formal introductions as a convenience and a memory aid. A business card typically includes the giver's name, company or business affiliation, usually with a logo, and contact information such as street address, telephone numbers, fax number, email addresses, and website. The standard dimensions for a printed business card are 3.5 inches width and 2 inches height. That's the finished card size. In this tutorial, we'll see how to design a visiting or business card. At first, we'll set the unit for InDesign application. We want to make sure the input unit's measurement is in inches. For that, we want to go to Edit, Preferences, and then Unit and Increments. We'll have a dialog box for the preferences, where we see under Units and Increments, there is Ruler Units. We can see that vertical and horizontal for both options, units are in PICA. If we click here, all the units available in InDesign will be shown here. We want to select inches here. Similarly, for the verticals, we'll select inches. Click OK. Now we want to do the page setup. Under Create New, we can select Document or go to File menu and New and Document or even we can just command Ctrl N with the keyboard. We'll have the new document dialog box. Here, number of pages 1, start page 1 and uncheck facing pages. You can see here the units are displayed as inches. As we have discussed in the beginning that the standard measurement of a business card would be 3.5 inches width and height 2 inches. Orientation will choose horizontal. For margin 0 0.196 from the top. As soon as I entered measurement for the top, it automatically be the number for all of them as this link here is selected and we are fine with that measurement. We are now done with the page setup. Click OK. So we have the page here to design the business card. We are going to need the information for the visiting card and they are name of the person for who this business card would be his or her email address and contact number, name of the company, company's logo, designation, etc. Although it varies depending on the company's policy and choice. Let's grab the text icon and create a text box. Let's type person name. Select the size, let's say 10 here. Bring the text with the box in this corner. Perhaps we want the designation of the person just below the name. Similarly, we'll grab the text tool and type the designation. Select the size 8pt. Bring the text just below the name. Now we want to use the company logo on this right top corner. Now we want to go to File and Place and select the logo of the company from where it's saved. It's better to have the AI formatted file as the logo. The logo is with the cursor point. Let's choose the area of the logo to be placed here on the card. OK, we have the image of the logo placed here. Now we can see the image is not very sharp and clear. 
Now to make it look better, right click on the image and go to display preference and you see there are fast display, typical display and high quality display. Click on the high quality display and you see the quality of the image is much better now. Now if you zoom in, you can check the quality of the image which is still better and doesn't break. We have so far the person name, designation and the company logo. Now beneath the logo, we want to add the name of the company. Grab the type tool and write, let's say, Sistec Digital Limited. Well, some of the text is not seen as we need to increase the size of the box. We'll change the size of the text to match it here. Let's say 11 pt. Now we want to add the company address under here. We'll grab another text box. Let's select the font size 6 for the text of this box. We may increase the size of the box. Now we can type in the address here or we can copy the text from other source and paste it here. Let's increase it little more to have the address in one line. Let's paste the other information that are going to be here. Change the font size to 6. Select all the text and do the alignment. Select a style that goes best with the rest of the design. Now I want to place a green bar at the bottom of the card here perhaps matching with the corporate color of Sistec Digital Limited. Let's grab the rectangle tool and create a shape. We can see the stroke is on here for the shape. Let's select none and choose the field color green. Perhaps we want this green color to match with the logo's color. Place it nicely at the bottom. Now you can duplicate this box holding on the Alter button of the keyboard and place it right on top of the bottom shape. We want to use a lighter greenish for this shape to make the visible difference between the two shapes. So we have all the information that are required to design a business card. Seeing this tutorial, you know how to design a business card. Now you can use your imagination to come up with better designs.